the AI Power 2000 Watt Peak 1600 running watt generator available at places such as Costco in the USA and on Amazon and other retailers and online retailers everywhere. I um, was interested in getting one of these because of the frequent power outages here in California and uh, also the potential for using it for camping and with the motorhome. And I wanted to know what it was I could run with this thing. And so I called the company after watching a half dozen YouTube videos where people unboxed it and showed you it, but didn't actually, apart from plugging in a heat gun, they didn't really show you what it could run. And uh, the company really was non-committal in their answers. They were helpful, but you know, naturally the guy didn't want to say, well, yes, it will run this, or yes, it will run that beyond just the basic little thing. So I wanted to make a video about uh, what you could actually conceivably run with it. The blue Costco one comes with these uh, accessories. I'm assuming if you buy the blue one anywhere new from an authorized reseller, that you're going to get the uh, the factory 30 amp RV adapter, and you're going to get the uh, factory parallel cables and the uh, factory 12 volt battery charging cables. And you'll also get a spark plug tool. I don't have it list pictured here, but they gave you a small uh, container of oil. I think it was about 12 ounces. The unit does not ship with oil, so you're going to have to follow the instructions and put the oil in it with the provided funnel that comes with the two uh, before your first. So, what will this thing run? That is sort of the question here, right? So, I have a heat gun, and uh, it's a dual 750 watt and 1500 watt heat gun. We'll plug it in, and we'll put it on the 750 watt setting, and then the 1500 watt. Seven fifty. And now the fifteen hundred. Well, that that makes it throttle up. Now this generator has two thousand starting watts and uh, sixteen hundred running watts. The way that you figure out wattage, if you're trying to figure out how many watts an appliance you have uses, is the volts times amps equals watts. Now one of the things I want to uh, point out for everybody is that if you are ever running any type of appliance, whether it's a small motorhome, or it's a drill, or a heat gun, or it's a refrigerator or an air conditioner and you're trying to run them on the end of an extension cord, you have to make sure that the extension cord that you are using is a heavier gauge than the cord that is connected to the appliance. In this case, I've got a 12 gauge extension cord and I'm gonna be connecting it to appliances that have about a, a 15 gauge cord on them. All right, I'm going to run or attempt to run this residential style refrigerator here. I have a Kenmore. Um, it is not the most energy efficient type available. I know a lot of the newer ones are better than this one. This one's about five or six years old, so I consider it to be a late model. I'm going to throw the uh, the data sheet up on the screen here. Uh, this one at full load pulls 7.2 amps. And so uh, there's a footnote here to that though. So before you do the calculation that I gave you earlier, which you know works out, it says it should run this, you need to know that uh, refrigeration systems use a type of pump called a compressor. And the compressor, when it starts, actually pulls a lot more amperage. Now this varies a little bit because a lot of the newer stuff that's out there, they include a hard start capacitor. In fact, most refrigeration systems sold today in refrigerators and uh, residential air conditioners, at least the more expensive ones, have some kind of hard start capacitor. Maybe not big enough, maybe smaller. So this is, I'm gonna show you this uh, but you need to keep in mind that, you know, you may have a refrigerator that doesn't have a very big or doesn't have at all a hard start capacitor. And in that case, the compressor can pull up to three times as much amperage just for like, you know, a, a tenth of a second, a half of a second, which is more than enough to trip the breaker on uh, the generator. So we'll get started with this. All right. We'll give the uh, shoddy camera work for the moment. And we will plug it in and the 
compressor kicked up a little bit. Alright, well, the compressor's not running, so I'm going to leave this door open for a minute until it does. Alright, so the compressor started back up on this thing, and it is uh, blowing cold air again. Um, I've noticed no change in the... Uh, the idle of the compressor outside so uh, I would call this a win for the uh, AI power generator in this case let's try something a little bit heavier than this to see how hey, I'm gonna run this 10,000 BTU Frigidaire air conditioner off of the air conditioner to see if it works I've got to I'm gonna throw up the, the side panel here to show you that this is uh, 8.8 8 amps running so uh, we'll see if this one works now I'm going to point out this particular model of Frigidaire it's a little bit of a slightly higher end window unit came with a fairly large soft start capacitor so it's not going to pull too many amps on uh, when the refrigeration system kicks in so let's turn it it's on fan we'll put our pool Auto. Now we'll wait a second for the, uh, the compressor to kick on. This, this air conditioner sat for months. I haven't turned it on. This is the first time I wanted a true cold start. So it's not already warmed and lubricated. This is this one pulled some amps when it started. But apparently not more than the, uh, the generator was capable of uh, putting out. The, the uh, fan speed just kicked up to the top setting. Turn this off. Now, this is in no way indicative of the fact that this generator is going to run every window unit, or that on the hottest day of the year it'll be able to run this one. It might not. I mean, electrical resistances change when things are hot or when they're cold or when they've been run, running for a while or already hot, or if they haven't been running ages and you plug them in. So those are all factors. But uh, I give this little portable generator here uh, two thumbs up. I mean, it's, it's run everything I've put in it. I haven't had the circuit breaker trip a single time.